when you are using firewall it will of course help you to block the traffic from one network to another network and from internet to your local network from local network to internet and so on suppose this is your open sense firewall that we have just now configured and it is ready to block the traffic from the internet which is of course external to your network we have multiple networks also here I suppose this is my home lab so my Wi-Fi access point is also connected here and then my laptops and desktops and then I have the guest Wi-Fi also. So I have my guest network also which is connected again here. So there are multiple servers again they are connected on a different network. So if you remember we had Protectly and Protectly has multiple network interfaces. Because I have the Wi-Fi connected on one port, I have the servers connected on one port, I have the home lab connected on one port, I have the guest network connected on one port and I have then the internet which is connected on one port internet traffic is coming from here and then it is going here so how you have to create the firewall route because this is my router also which means that traffic from any network to any other network can be controlled here because i have now multiple networks here and even you can have the virtual lans also or vlans also created we can create the firewall rules here so we can define the firewall rule that if you want to access from this network from the guest network should we allow the guest network to access the servers should we allow the users to access the servers should we allow the users to access the internet and should we allow the people from the internet to access my servers or should we allow the people from internet to access my laptop or my home network so now we can create the firewall rules in a way that we can allow or block the access from or to the network the firewall rule which will allow the users to specific ports on the specific servers we can allow the users to access the internet within a specific date or time we can block the internet access of some of the servers to the internet so we can block the access from the uh, guest network to access any device on our home network or we can block the users from the home network to access the home lab so any rule any combination is possible in open sense there are multiple ways of creating the firewall so you can create the interface firewall you can create the floating firewall you can create the interface group firewall so there are some firewall rules which are system defined firewall rules by default the users are getting the internet access without any restriction by default blocked from the internet to our local network similarly by default there are some rules which are created access to the firewall port 80 and port 443 is allowed so firewall rule is created in that way you can create the rules as a floating rule also you can create the rule at the interface group also and you can create the rule at the interface as well if i want to access anything on internet uh, this will be my source and internet will be my destination so this is from source into the firewall so this will be called in so the direction will be called in so from source into the firewall and from if it is coming from the internet into the uh, into our firewall so it will be again this will be source and this will be in now if anything is going from here to the outside world now for example traffic is leaving from the open sense to the external world so it will be out so from here to here it is in from here to here it is out so you have to remember these terminologies what is incoming and what is outgoing so anything that is coming from the source to firewall it is called incoming anything that is leaving the firewall and going out it is called outgoing so similarly for example if the traffic is coming from here and then going out here so it will be incoming from here and outgoing from here suppose if i change the direction in this way so this is incoming and going into the servers this is outgoing if this is the source and this is the destination so for the open sense this is going to be in and this is going to be out so i hope that in and out concept is clear any traffic that comes from the source to the firewall it is incoming or any traffic that leaves the firewall and goes out to other network that is called the outgoing by default every traffic from the internet is blocked so this is called block so when you create any rule to block it means that all the traffic will be blocked there is another rule similar to that which is called reject so difference between block and reject is that reject will let the user know that traffic is rejected but block will not give any response back to user that you have been rejected then is the pass so any traffic which is allowed is called pass so these are few terminologies that i wanted you to understand 
because if you understand these terminologies if you understand this diagram it will really help you to plan your firewall in a better way let us continue the next video we will be practically creating the firewall rule and then we will see how these firewall rule will help you to block or allow the access let's continue to next video now